diabetes type 2 can cause damage to both the heart and kidneys. Many people don't experience severe symptoms until their kidney disease is quite advanced, but there are some warning signs which include swelling in any of these three body parts. Diabetic neuropathy affects a person's kidneys and stops it from doing their usual work which includes removal of waste products and extra fluid. When a person suffers from this condition for many years, it slowly damages the kidney's delicate filtering system. Kidney disease may develop which can progress to kidney failure which is a life-threatening condition. The kidney's job is to filter waste from the blood and remove excess water from the body via urine. When the kidneys aren't doing their job, this fluid can stay in the system instead of being excreted. Swelling around the hands, feet, and eyes may be associated with kidney or heart failure and shouldn't be dismissed. Having swollen eyes can be due to the fact that the kidneys are leaking a large amount of protein in the urine, rather than keeping it in the body. This is a very general symptom, but a buildup of toxins resulting from reduced kidney function can be one of the causes. In the early stages of diabetic nephropathy, a person may not notice any signs or symptoms. In later stages, however, the signs and symptoms could include, worsening blood pressure control protein in the urine increased need to urinate reduced need for insulin or diabetes medicine confusion or difficulty concentrating shortness of breath loss of appetite nausea and vomiting persistent itching fatigue. Diabetic nephropathy is a major cause of long-term kidney disease and end-stage renal disease, ESRD, said Medical News Today. The health site added, in ESRD, the kidneys no longer work well enough to meet the needs of daily life. Nephropathy can affect people with any type of diabetes because it results from damage due to high blood glucose. High blood glucose levels affect the arteries in the body, and the kidneys filter blood from those arteries. One study found that 20 to 40 percent of people with diabetes develop some kind of kidney disease. How to lower high blood sugar levels Fortunately, high blood sugar levels can be lowered, and the damage associated with it can be reversed, although this is not always the case. A healthy diet plays an essential role in regulating your blood sugar levels. As the NHS explains, there is nothing you cannot eat if you have type 2 diabetes, but you'll have to limit certain foods. The health site said you can eat a wide range of foods, including fruit, vegetables and some starchy foods like pasta. Related articles Diabetes Type 2, the sign in your feet that could lead to amputation Type 2 Diabetes, the worst breakfast choices you could be making Diabetes Type 2, early signs indicating amputation risk.